Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. It's good for me to address my students after a long time because of panic situation all around the world. I hope you all are fine and sound. May Allah bless all of you. Today I am going to deliver my lecture over Brian Patton's poem, The Newcomer. First of all, I would like to get you introduced of Brian Patton's biography. Brian Patton was born in 1946 in England. He is an English poet and author. He is called Liverpool Poet because he was born around the area of Liverpool. His contemporaries are Adrian, Henry and Roger. His poetry deals with both seriousness and humor simultaneously. Brian Patton's famous works include Little Johnny's Confession, The Irrelevant Song, Vanishing Trick, Emma's Doll, and Impossible Parents. His poetry is vivid and lucid in its expressions, means sensuousness. He portrays every scene in a way that a reader could easily sense it through his or her five senses. Five senses are involved in his poetry. Now let's read the text of the poem The Newcomer and I hope it will be very much beneficial for you to understand its context and subject matter. First stanza, there is something new in the river, the fish said as it swam. It's got no scales, no fins, no gills and ignores the impassable dam. Second stanza, there is something new in the trees. I heard a blotted thrush sing. It's got no beak, no claws, no feathers and not even the ghost of a wing. There is something new in the warren, said the rabbit to the doe. It's got no fur, no eyes, no paws, yet digs further than we dare go. Four stanza. There is something new in the whiteness, said the snow bright polar bear. I saw its shadow on a glacier. But it left no paw marks there. Fifth stanza, which is in fact the summary of above stanzas. Through the animal's kingdom, the news was spreading fast. No beak, no claws, no feather, no scales, no fur, no gills. It lives in the trees and the water, in the soil and the snow and the hills. And it kills, and it kills, and it kills. This poem contains five stanzas. Every stanza explores the emotion of an animal about the advent of newcomer. For instance, first stanza is about the emotions of fish about newcomer. Second stanza is about birds and wild animals. Third stanza is about rabbit and its feelings about the advent of newcomer. Fourth stanza is about polar bear and its suspicious uh, and, uh, and its emotions about newcomer. Fifth stanza is the encapsulation of the whole discussion among other all creatures about something new which is strange wonderful and awkward to them now the question is raised what is this newcomer this newcomer is in fact human being this poem the this poem the newcomer describes the extraordinary qualities of human beings for instance in the first stanza fish says newcomer has no scales, no fins, but still he crosses impassable dam. In the second stanza, birds and wild animals admit human beings have no beak, no claws, but still they are skillful hunters. In the third stanza, rabbit accept 